Assalamu alaikum. Today, the topic of our lesson is what is science? The knowledge which we gain through observation and experiment is called science. Humans didn't know always that the earth orbits the sun. They found out because scientists asked themselves why of the positions of the earth, of the sun and the planet seem to change when viewed from the earth. This, then they spent centuries trying to find the answers. Humans didn't always know how the human body worked. They found out because scientists asked themselves how it worked and then studied living people and dead bodies. Humans didn't always know why things fell back to the earth when they were thrown into the air. They found out because scientists conducted experiments and found out about gravity. Who, what, where, why, when? Who, what, where, why, and when are the most important words for scientists? If you like science and want to explore the world around you, then they will become important words for you as well. For example, you may want to find out who will come down a slide the first as a person, a wet, a thin. Okay, and the what is the center of the more earth made of? When where do birds go when they migrate? Why is the sky blue? When is the best time to plant seeds? Research and experiments. Scientists work things out by doing research and conducting experiments. Research may involve reading books and magazines, looking at information on the internet, and taking to other scientists. However, at some points, they have to conduct experiments. Experiments involve setting something up. And observing, uh, and observing if any changes occur. If there are changes, the scientists conduct further experiments to work out ex exactly what is causing the changes. Observation does not just involve the sense on sight. It can also involve the other four senses. Sm smell, taste, touch and hearing. Experiments cannot be done quickly. Some experiments can take years and even decades. Nobel Prize. The highest awards for scientists are the Nobel Prizes for physics, chemistry, and physiology and medicine. These three awards are presented to each year in Sweden. In 1979, Dr. Abjasam was the Nobel Prize for physics. Becoming Pakistan's first Nobel Prize winner. Oh. And...